Yo. Ha ha. Bill Nicholson. YouTube, it's your boy Mill Deficit coming back actually from a different angle. Today I have a nice little sneaker review to go over with you. You can see by the title, and I know it's another Shattered Backboard 3.0 video, but a lot of people don't know the backstory, why it happened, why did Nike come out with this shoe, etc. etc. <clears throat> so, to recap before I open this shoe, because you've seen one, you've seen them all. The Shattered Backboard had three different variations, even though it was technically is a fourth one, because the last, the one last year, I don't think counts as a Shattered Backboard, even though they labeled it as a Shattered Backboard. You got to keep in mind that the first Shattered Backboard came out, what, in 2015, so that was deemed as the 1.0. There was a reverse Shattered Backboard that was released. That was the 2.0, and this is the 3.0. The Satins last year... You didn't see any point, nothing. It was just a women's exclusive shattered backboard. So, with that said and done, you probably saw the video earlier before this came on with Jordan in the air, gliding, dunking. Get rid of this. Gliding and dunking and pretty much doing what he wanted when he went to Italy. After he won his Rookie of the Year award, or his Rookie season, I should say, <clears throat> when, and he did have the NBA Rookie of the Year award, he kind of flew to Italy, Triesti, if I'm not mistaken. And because of that, Nike had an exclusive game over there for him to play. But in addition to the dunk, the famous dunk, again, that you saw in the beginning of this video where glasses fall in, blah, 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 hence shattered backboard, the colorway of the jerseys that the Triesti team was pretty much using was orange and black. But... I'm going to show you a picture later on in this video that is going to blow people's mind because in addition to that video, I caught a still picture of him kneeling down on one knee and it just so happens that he was wearing something, something, a little something, something. So <clears throat> with that said and done, let's get into the shoe after that little brief summary. Just wanted to give people a nice little backstory to it because I feel like the Jordan Shattered Backboard 3.0 this is the only version out of the Fearless Pack. The Fearless Pack is a series of Jordan series Jordan 1 series where different shoes and collabs are happening They're actually I just actually picked up a Jordan 1 bread um, it's the kind of like a, like a zipper that's like a, a Fearless Fearless something whatever it's called <laughs> but it's, it's actually coming next week, and I'm kind of intrigued to seeing this because it's, it's different. It's, it's basically, there is no lacing system. Um, it's literally a zipper and Velcro strap over. I think it's pretty dope, but a lot of people kind of skipped over it. So with that said and done, <clears throat> let's get into the box. I'm curious to see what this looks like. This is my first time. Now, this is not a personal pair, so we can do a super zoom version like I always do. I just can't do the... On feet because the this is not my size. This is actually a money pair, I'm guessing, because I think this is a size nine, if I'm not mistaken. But what I'm going to show you uh, later on is again that picture, that still picture. You just got to keep in mind. Again, it's a Nike event. I think Nike thinks that they think so far ahead. It's not even funny. That that, that whole trip was not a mistake. In terms of Jordan going to Italy and playing that game and dropping what like 30 points or something like that. So here we go. The Jordan 3.0 shattered backboards. And of course, make sure you have no fugazis. This thing is real. This thing is real. And again, I don't make the news. Just like my man Super Duper Rupa says, I'll report it. My pro. All right. Okay. Now I get it. A lot of people aren't a fan of the way it was designed, but you got to keep in mind that this shoe will probably not be re-released. I don't think, and it's gonna be a while. 
gonna be a lot. Like if you get your hands on this, keep it. And the reason why I say that is because this is patent leather. When I looked at the pictures, I thought that the patent leather was hard. This is soft patent leather. I mean, softer than your Jordan 11s, the Concords. I don't care what it is. This is this is real soft. I didn't expect this. I, based off the pictures from what I saw, I thought it's going to be like some type of hard patent leather. But this is nice and soft. This is good quality. And if the fact that you can sit there, I'm doing this right in front of you so you can see it, <clears throat> and you don't have to worry about creasing. <clears throat> that's another that's another thing. Um, you can crease this all day, and it would still look like this. It would still have that shattered effect. Uh, this is the only Jordan 1 shoe that has that type of effect. That's why, again, I, I get a lot of people disappointed that they wanted like a full... They wanted this without the, the, the shattered effect, but quite honestly, it makes more sense to not just do the basketball color, colors for Tree State, the basketball team, that Jordan wore, which was orange and black, but... I think it makes more sense to have that shattered effect because that's exactly what it is. It's a shattered backboard. It resembles a shattered backboard, so it only makes sense. I like the vintage look that they did on the bottom. I forgot what this was called. Some type of vanilla something. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a cold. Here we go. Pale vanilla. So, again, this is size 9, right? And, of course, you got the... There's a stamp inside here, but just looking at the shoe, I, I'm, I'm kind of amazed. It's, it's just patent. It's literally just patent leather all around. And of course, you've seen the, like everybody else's videos. You know that you gotta have some. I, I I just don't think that just because this is here makes it authentic. Now this is straight from Nike, obviously, unless they make fake Nike boxes that I don't know about. Not this box, but the actual shipping box. So. I was able to get one of those size nines, like, like I said, one of those money shoes, but I plan on keeping and holding on to this uh, because I couldn't get a personal pair. My pair, I think, is harder to get in my size than this size. <clears throat> this is a size nine. Um, I normally wear a size 12 and a half. So they, Nike typically only makes but so many size, 12 and, a, 12 and a half sizes for most shoes. So it just so happens that I was able to get these size nines. I'm pleasantly surprised that I was actually getting them, but I'm actually glad that I actually have them in the collection because I did want to see these for myself. I was I was so I don't even need to go over the shoes just because you can see patent leather all over the side panels. You can see on the toe box, it's on the heel, it's all over the shoe. And I like the fact that when you go to the heel, most Jordan ones you have that like uncomfortable heel where you, you put your your foot in there and it just. I, I've had quite a few of them, namely those. Uh, you see this one right here. We all know about the turbo greens. If you see like Jordan ones, you notice that they don't really have that cushion on the heel. This and I think the crimson Jordan ones that released, I think in January, they have that nice soft cushion on the back. That's what they did with these Jordan ones. That's why I think that this, even though it, it looks like a Halloween themed shoe, it makes sense for the marketing team to come out with this shoe around Halloween. Now, of course, there's another Jordan one coming out. Red, white, and blue, I call it the firecracker because the popsicle, if, if just Google the, the firecracker popsicle thing, you'll see red, white, and blue. But with that said and done, my opinion about the shoe, I actually like it, right? There's no signs of white anywhere, so it's not like it can dirty easily. I feel like with this vintage midsole, I don't think that this could dirty easy. I mean, you'll see... <laughs> spots and variations of dirt but it'll be easy to clean off because of the colorway in itself now let's go pull up the picture or whatever that i was talking about the still picture and you're now looking at jordan on one knee now jordan's on one knee but take a look at you can see my arrows of course i'm pointing at the yellow one <laughs> which obviously is uh jordan but take a look at the the actual shoe that he's wearing it's the original Jordan 1. Now, keep in mind, if you're in Chicago, because the NBA All-Star Game is in Chicago in February, that shoe will be released next year in February. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people are happy that that shoe is going to be released. Again, Nike is very smart when it comes to marketing. This is nothing new to them. This was planned. I don't think that the whole shattered thing was planned, but it was after he dropped 30 points. My guess is they shipped Jordan overseas. He just won NBA Rookie of the Year after his Rookie Year uh, award. They ship him over there to the Nike-sponsored game, and, of course, he's wearing Jordan 1s, right? 
So he's promoting the shoe, and it just so happens that what? The backboard shatters, and guess what? That becomes a shoe now. So it's almost like I think Nike, in terms of the marketing aspect, they're looking for any event that he did, um, you know, whether it be with the Jordan 1, no matter what the brand series is, they're going to find a way to incorporate some type of marketing mechanism to bring into the shoe, no matter what Jordan it is. Now, the latest and greatest thing to do is do collaborations with rappers, sometimes movie actors, things like that. But anyway, your boy, going back to the shoe, my opinion, I really do like these shoes. I think that it was well-crafted. Again, I get, I get a lot of people don't like it, but I think once you get the shoe in hand, like I'm feeling this right now, you will appreciate how soft this leather is all over. This patent leather is so soft, it's not even funny. I love it. So your boy, Maleficent, let's get to the super zoom so we can see this cushioning, these shattered effects in a magnified view. Here we out. Well, we're not going to necessarily do a super zoom, but we can do it this way. Um, and looking at this, this actually, this has got my attention because I, I do like the fact that you look at the, just look at the material, right? This is crazy. This is real crazy. I, I do like what Jordan did. I like the concept um, and the change that they did, but I never expected them to do this. Now, come on, Nike, really? You took out the holes and everything here, but you, you skipped over this. Really? Anyway, <laughs> looking at this, this actually is, is pretty dope. Like, I, I did not expect Nike to execute like this. Now, this is the toe box test without, that most people should you know, pretty much try when they get their Jordan Air Jordan. Air Jordan 1s to make sure this is good quality. When you can press down on an Air Jordan 1 and it comes up that slow, you know that this is good leather. Again, I didn't I did not anticipate this shoe in itself to be well crafted like this because quite honestly, when I saw the pictures and I seen the leather pad, I thought immediately this is gonna be a hard shoe and it's gonna feel hard, pause, when you put it on. But it's the actual opposite. And you can see like right now, like the leather, like I said, I'm not over exaggerating, I'm not trying to oversell this, but the leather on this is very, very soft for a leather pad shoe and it's very durable now the fact that on the colorway <coughs> for the the midsole that this vanilla that they have on here uh, like i said before like this is going to be hard to dirty but it's going to be easy to clean um, so you can have like a repellent cleaning solution on the shoe um, but leather pad yeah it's not really going dirty uh, some people will wear the shoe some people won't obviously i can't wear this because it's size nine but from what I see, Jordan 1s typically have the craftsmanship is, is, is typically good. It's really good. Um, I don't really see any defects on most Jordan Air Jordan 1s. I just, I'm just baffled on how they did the actual design with the whole shattered effect. I mean, like a lot of people have, from what I understand, they're smoothing this out by spraying some type of solution on it to smoothen it out. But this, man, you, I mean, you got to keep it in, in its original form, in my opinion. Uh, just because it's a unique shoe and I don't see I'd be highly surprised if I see this shoe re-released in the next decade it, it just won't be I, I, just because like, you, you've seen different types of styles of Jordans but this is the type of shoe that again I get that people didn't like just because of the fact that it has this shattered or wrinkly effect on the actual patent leather but don't underestimate this shoe. Don't, I mean, I feel like if you have it, keep it. Keep it for months. You know, people say they, they don't like the shoe, but again, this is one of those shoes that you have to have in hand for you to really appreciate the craftsmanship. And now that you know the backstory to this, hopefully that if helps you or makes you want the shoe even more. So your boy, Magnificent, Air Jordan 1, Shattered Backboard 3.0s, I will be trying to go after another Fearless Pack shoe that will be released on Saturday. I'll call them the Fire Fireworks pop, Popsicle, uh, Jordan Air, Jordan 1s. But there is another shoe. If I don't get that shoe Saturday, there's another shoe actually coming next week out of that same Fearless Pack. Um, it's a shoe that I think a lot of people slept on, um, and I don't think you should sleep on it because it's very unique. And once you get it in hand, 
Yeah, you know what I'm saying you'll see. But that shoe, that that shoe that's coming next week for the from the Fearless Pack will be a personal pair. Um, so your boy Magnificent, I will be doing the on feed for that. I am out the Jordan 3.0 Shattered Backboard. You got the full backstory to this shoe and why it came out, and I'm out.